everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're brand new around these parts, hi, my name is Missa, subscribe, go follow me on Instagram, all that jazz, I'm pretty over there because I can edit my photos and get rid of any wrinkles or uh, weird eye patches. Today I just wanted to attempt to play with makeup. I've had a rough week, rough three weeks, but an especially rough week and I've tried to put makeup on almost every single day and every single day it's failed. So today I actually managed, so we're doing this look here. I'm using a palette, a palette I've used I think twice on camera already, but I've used this so many times. I love this palette, it's the Mitchell Beauty Bay one, <laughs> if you're not watching and just listening. Um, and I'm also testing out a new foundation for the first time. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked. Anyway, I'm also wearing a lip gloss, which is weird, but my new pre-marque rings and they're so cute. And my hair's really greasy, so it's in a fake ponytail. So yeah, I think I should shut up because I just should. If you want to see how I got this look here, then please just do keep on watching. doing this as a voiceover because I I know they're more impersonal and not as fun but just be warned it is really noisy outside like very noisy I'm just gonna proceed anyway because I think we need to get on with it it's only gonna get worse probably Um, I've already primed Revlon Candid how has this not run out yet? I don't know. I'm gonna flash up a picture on screen of what shade I'm using just because you're really zoomed in. Like my camera's like right here, like a brush length away. Got a new tripod, it's amazing. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Main and this is on a Kaleidos, you know, the brand that does those fancy palettes. I'm using one of their brushes, the number S3 brush. And keeping my eye open, kind of cut creasy, just like the way I usually would start. Although I'm not doing a cut crease, I know. I am keeping this look pretty soft, so I'm only taking it in about halfway. And then I'm just going to fill in the gap. And then I'm grabbing my Jeffree Star Morphe JS12, this little rounded brush. Just gonna soften up the edges just a pinch. This look was so simple and easy to do and really fast as well, which is weird because I'm not a fast makeuper in any way. So now I'm going in with the shade Meh on a blank canvas E10. And just wiggle that around. Drag it in a little pinch more, but not too much. Make sure if you're like me and you have a tendency to raise your brows, just to drop your brows. Because then you think you're making it a bit more dramatic than you are. And all disappears. And then grabbing a brush, I just never use these like really big fat fluffy ones. Just because I feel like they're too big for my eyes. Like I've got quite small eyes and these are massive, like the size of them. This is a blank canvas E25. It's like that very famous Sigma one. I'm pretty sure I've got do the E40. Anyway, I'm dipping into the shade Mixer. It's just the most beautiful like mustard shade. I love it. Then I'm taking a Crown C510, which is this flat, flat brush, and the shade Modest. This is getting packed on the front half. I would wait till later to film for like when they go away at like 5 or 6 p.m., but um, I, got, I had to get up very, very early this morning for a doctor's appointment, and I know I'll be just very very tired later on so I'm gonna have to do this when I can and on a favorite brush Morphe M507 I'm going back in with the shade meh 
and that's gonna go in between where this deep brown hits that really pale color. I think the fact that I've used this palette six times, today's my seventh, um, compared to the one time I've used my new Stacey Marie Carnival palette, shows you which one I love more. So then my Morphe M573, I'm going into the shade Man Made, and I'm gonna start just making this outer crease just a bit nicer looking. This is such a lovely rounded fluffy brush. It's fabulous. I'm just using the lightest pressure. I'm holding it at the very end of the brush. And just doing little circular motions. And that initial Kaleidos brush, I'm going back in to, um, I'll just dip into Man Made, and I'm just going to put it a bit more on my eyelid, because on the other side it definitely goes a bit further along. And I would like these to match. And then another Jeffree Star Morphe brush, this is the JS9. I'm dipping into Mixer and mixing it with the shade Man Made on my brush. More Mixer though than Man Made. And this is just going up and around. Just around there. Oh, I forgot to say, don't, don't look at my brows. I've been unable to do my brows for days now. Don't know what's happening to me. Okay, that's kind of basics done. Now we're gonna add the prettiness. So I picked this out of my collection. I never really use these on camera, but I've got them all. And they're very pretty and it's upside down. So these are the OPV liquid glitters. This particular one is the shade 06 No Limit. Yeah, I'm putting it on the back of my hand and taking this little flat brush. This is the Sample Beauty PB06 because I just want a very light dusting of glitter. I don't want a lot. I'm going to put this all over that kind of mustard shade at the front. Like, I really don't want a lot. I use such a small amount on this eye and even then it was more than I meant to. Sorry, my memory card filled up. I was just patting that glitter on. And then I was gonna do black eyeliner and I thought, no, do you know what goes really nice with neutral? It's green. So this is Urban Decay Deep End and I got this ages ago and I remember not really liking it. It's a green blue. I think it looks more green on here. And I'm just gonna do like quite a chunky line of it. Wing it out if you feel so inclined. My eyes are so hooded, I just hate doing wings. I hate it with a passion. This just like glides over eyeshadow as well, like I'm really shocked. I've only ever used these in the waterline, I don't think I've ever used a pencil to do eyeliner, like ever. Right, I'll just make sure this looks the same as the other side and then I will clean up my fallout of which I have barely any and we will move on to the rest of the face. I've got really greasy hair so excuse the fact that I'm giving myself a facelift with a hair, what's it called, thing. I'm using my e.l.f. poreless Battle primer because it's bomb. Although I might regret this because I'm gonna do uh gonna use a new foundation So this might not like it, but I need to start trying this foundation now so I can actually get my 
informed opinion on it. So that being said, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. I'm gonna use 31 NN, which is neutral master tone and undertone. We'll see, probably won't match, who knows. I've heard from different people that it's good and that it's not good, but I've not watched any actual reviews on it, so I'm intrigued to see what shall I think of it. I'm doing my foundation reviews differently now, though I'm going to be trying the foundations out for ages um, before doing an actual video on them, so I'll tell you if I like it or not upon first impressions, but my opinion may change as I continue to use it. I ain't sure. What coverage is this supposed to have? I like full coverage. And this doesn't seem that. That's actually very pretty. I'm gonna use the matching concealer just because I might as well. This is in the shade 10 CP. I loved their all nighter foundation for the longest time. It was one of my first high end foundations and I loved it. I loved it, it was cake face. On first impression, the concealer doesn't seem that special, but maybe I will change my mind as I carry on with my life. I'm gonna set my face with my Koti Airspoon. Just gonna whack it on all over with a sponge because it seems very convenient right now. seem quite far away, are you quite far away? Wouldn't be me without Revolution Skin Finish and Opalescent. Just bang it on all over, I feel very matte. And quite flat looking. You know what, I never use this, so I'm gonna use it, my Hourglass. Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Nude Bronze Light. Well, I don't think it's too long ago I did actually use this bronzer, but anyway. Wow, is it quite dark? Bronzer has always been one of my favorite steps. I feel like it always makes everything look so much better. You got a wee bit of bronzer on. A wee bit, a lot, whatever you want. I do like that bronzer, but I always feel like there is something that is not that special about it. So I never like rave about it. I do rave about my sleek contour kit, which is what I'm gonna use because it's good, it's good. quite a lot. I'm gonna use my little mini Becca Vanilla Quartz highlighter. I really quite like this one. It's a little bit casty on me but not too bad. Becca's one of those brands that I just do not gravitate towards. I just find it so expensive. Although a lot of their stuff's in TK Maxx right now. It's nice, right? But is it like groundbreaking? The answer is no short in in the short short and then i'm gonna use my color drain power and this is the call the shots like blush duo so this one's more for deep skin so it's like a matte blush and then this would be like a highlight on i think really quite deep skin tones but i use it as a what do you call it glowy blush i like the other side too i just prefer a glowing blush 
I always think it just melts into your highlighter really nice when you put a glowy blush on as well. Especially if you're like me and you're that weird kind of skin tone that the palest highlighters just are far too pale and then the ones that are just above it are too dark or give you a weird cast. It's really frustrating. Um, then, what was I gonna do? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab a bit of Amrezi by ABH. Just for the top of the cheek ones. Very, 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 very lightly because I'm quite pale today. Skin needs some hydration so bad. L'Oreal Shake and Glow Foam. <clears throat> Pretty much that's the best drugstore setting spray. Trust me on that. I feel quite bronzy and, you know, just like bronzy. I'm gonna change my battery, do this under eye, come back, we'll do this one, then put it on a lip. Easy Aussie. I'm literally keeping it very, very simple. I'm gonna use the same eyeliner, white inner waterline. And then just taking man made that main like brown that we've used on a Jessup 230. Great brush. I'm just gonna put that all the way along the bottom. And then this is an unnamed Morphe pencil brush. I'm going in with the shade Mixer, which is that lovely mustardy one. And just blending that along the bottom. Bish bash bosh. And I'm gonna use this new product on my inner corner because I want to. So I'm going <laughs> to, this is the new um, Kaleidos highlighters, I love the tin, I love the tin so much. This one is in Solar Sailor, it's very gold, it's so beautiful, I don't think I could use it on my face, I think it would be too golden for me, so that's why I'm going to use it on my inner corners because I did swatch it when it arrived. Sometimes I can't help myself and sometimes I can. And just a little bit under the brow. I hardly recognise myself with this brown on my eyes. So I'm going to just throw on a lash. Then we'll come and do a lip. Then we'll be done. I am having the toughest time with my eyes today. So I'm gonna use MUA TLC lip liner. I'm gonna try something crazy today. MUA lip liners are two pounds, one pound fifty, one pound fifty, and they're nuts. They're like this long, incredible formula, great, not sponsored, have been sponsored in the past, not today. Wish. <laughs> oh man, I gotta turn off my heater. I'm going to fill my lips in entirely because I've got a gloss that I want to try. I know, I know. I got sent a massive parcel by Wet n Wild and in it was this lip gloss and this is the Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick. Okay, so it's a liquid lipstick, I guess. I guess. Anyway, and this is in the shade caught you bare naked and it looks so pale and I did swatch it on my hand and it is very pale and that's why I wanted to fill in my lips first so I'm gonna now put this on and I never wear gloss ever uh, yeah. I've literally hair sprayed my hair out my face so it's fine That's a pretty combination if you like gloss. I just want to quickly touch on what I think went wrong with my eyes. So 
I think obviously I close my eyes, sprayed on all my setting spray and then I open my eyes and because it's quite a, it's not sticky but setting sp spray sticks and things and then I'd open my eyes and close them and open them and open them and there was then patches of glittery eyeshadow completely missing so that's why I had to go in like straight with the wand and reapply it and I've actually had to do that twice because then I opened my eyes too quickly and it looked patchy again, it probably does right now. Let me see. Yeah, a little bit. I really don't blame this because I've used these plenty of times and not had a problem, but I just think it was tomfoolery on the setting spray and my eyes fault. Um, but that's the finished look. I'm not gonna put, I was about to put more setting spray on. I'm not gonna, because I'm scared. Oh, we need earrings, hold on. My new Primark ones. They go, because I've got green in them and they're gold and I'm green and gold. Although, can you hear them? Maybe you can't and I just look stupid, but I think you need WD-40 for these. <laughs> just be warned, if I put up a photo of this look on Instagram, it's going to be very, very edited because... Yeah. <laughs> well, I set out today to do a really neutral eye and I think I kind of have. If you just remove the green eyeliner and don't put so much glitter on, like just the little amount of glitter I put at the beginning, I think it looked fine a bit. Now it's a little bit more dramatic and that's fine and I don't think the skin's too overdone. I think it's, for me, it's pretty neutral. I've also not done a cut crease. Miracles happen. That is it from me. I am going to go because I want to film another video that will probably be up before this video goes up, which is going to be hopefully quite an interesting one. I just, I have to, I have to say it again about this palette. I think this palette is fantastic. I have not struggled blending out one shade in this palette and I've now used like all kind of, I thought there was a spider on it, but it's a bit of eyelash. I've now used like all color stories. So I've used the neutrals and the browns, I've used the greens, the blues, the purples and pinks. I've not used the reds because these two shades here don't appeal to me, but Wow, this palette is incredible. When it comes back into stock, I would highly recommend getting it or asking it um, for asking for it from Santa because it's great. And if I honestly had to choose between the two, weirdly, I would pick this one before the Stacey Marie Carnival, the new one, because I've just got so much more use out of this. I hate the packaging. Mitchell DM me after I put up my initial video, I was like, I'm really sorry that you're so offended by the packaging, but I can look past what I think is quite ugly packaging for the incredible innards, because it's all about the innards. I'm just annoyed about the eyes with the patches, but these lashes are beautiful. They're Franken lashes. I will list what I use down below. It's all right. It's all right. The lip gloss is okay. I'm getting that weird, like, you know when it's gathers in the corners. I'm moaning too much, it's not that bad. And you're at a distance, so I probably look a lot better. So yeah, that's it for me today. I must say I did have fun putting makeup on again. It's been quite a while since I've been able to just sit and put makeup on just because of life. And every time I've tried, which has been pretty much every day, I've failed. So this is the most success I've had in about a week, which is good. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a massive favor and give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out probably more than you know. It really does. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the look or any other comment. I try and reply to every single one. And subscribe because it's the polite thing to do. As always, a massive, 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 massive shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support on Patreon. Boggles the mind. I think I just, yeah, a new Patreon video just when I'm filming this has just gone live. And if you want to join Patreon, the link is down below in the description box. You can join. It's just like, I think the minimum is $1 a month. And you get early access to videos as often as I can. Patreon only videos and access to giveaways basically whenever I have money. If you can or don't want to be a Patreon, just keep watching my videos. It helps me out so much. Watch the ads if you can be bothered. I never can, so I don't expect you to. But I mean, if you've got the time. And... What was the other thing? Just thank you so much for watching anyway. And with that, I'm going to piss off and film another video. I was going to say go to bed because that's usually what I do, but I can't. I will hopefully catch you all on the flip side.